believe that the metal scene fucking practices what others preach. That's one thing. The other one is, we are a minority amongst mainstream people. Fuck you! Yeah. And we're fucking proud of it, right? Yeah. 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 Not look like everybody else in fucking uniforms. We got our own, so. But we know how it feels to be minority, to be suppressed, not getting the ways to speak up freely like other people do. There is no place for us in mainstream media. We got, luckily we got people like Full Metal Jackie blasting it out in the airwaves. Otherwise, it would just be fucking bling bling and hip hop. Anyway. If we, we, we tend to just think about our own problems, especially at these times where everybody's struggling a bit with money and economy and lots of presents meeting and nothing is happening. And, uh, but there's a lot of other people out there who got it a lot worse. A fucking lot worse. They, they, can't, even, they can't wear a metal shirt. They're gonna get fucking decapitated for that in the Middle East still. Iran, Iran. They, they can't buy food. They, they would be safe for five bucks. Really, seriously. So. This is my call to you, ladies and gentlemen. Check out amnesty.org. They are truly one of the few organizations I feel good about supporting. They're the human rights watchdog, and you can do with very little. You can do a lot. Sign a petition. Give five bucks. Spread the word. If you inspire ten people, and they inspire ten people, and so on, at some point, the world will be a better place, and everybody can listen to kill fucking metal. Fuck yeah. Otherwise, we got the scenario that's described in the next song, and it's called Dead Eyes. See you.